Let me tell you a not so secret something about me. I am incredibly lazy. And it's because that I'm lazy that I'm obsessed with productivity techniques. I have found that if a productivity system is in place that suits my working style, I'm able to do a lot more work with less effort. And that's essentially one of the underlying philosophies in anything that I do. I always try to produce the best possible output while giving the least amount of effort. That way, I'm still managing to accomplish all of my goals without burning myself out in the process. And in this video, we're going to go over five specific tips that I use to do more work with less effort. First, you have to do proper time blocking and scheduling. Ideally, this is an activity that you do the night before your work day or very early in the morning before you actually start working. This is the best way for you to combat something that's called decision fatigue. Essentially, your life is completely composed of hundreds, even thousands of micro decisions that you're making constantly. It starts with you waking up and you making that decision whether you want to hit that snooze button on your alarm clock or not. Then you have to make a decision. Should you take a shower first or should you have your breakfast first? If you're going to have breakfast, what are you going to eat? How are you going to cook it? When you sit down and you start to get ready for work, which task do you tackle first? And then what task do you tackle immediately after that? As you're making these decisions, you might not know it, but it's taking a little bit away from your energy every single time. And as your energy gets depleted, you're forced to exert more effort towards accomplishing these little tasks and making more decisions. This is why time blocking and scheduling are so important because once you've set appropriate time blocks and schedules for your specific tasks, then it's merely a matter of executing these tasks and moving from one task to another without a hitch. This will help you not waste any of your time or energy as you seamlessly flow from one task to another, which brings me to my next tip. As you're scheduling your day, lump similar tasks together. The whole theory behind task batching is that you're grouping similar tasks next to one another so that you're carrying over the momentum from one task to the next. For example, it's a lot easier for me to transition from the task of scripting my YouTube videos to the task of storyboarding my YouTube videos. This is because I'll essentially be working on the same project with the same tools. It would be more disruptive and require more effort for my work process if, for example, I script YouTube videos now, I answer emails as my next task, and then I go back to working on my YouTube project by storyboarding. This is because you suffer a dip in your focus every time you move from one task to another. And that dip becomes even more prominent when the tasks are so different from each other. For example, I always make it a point to exercise every day as much as possible. I won't place my task of having to exercise in between me writing an article and then me answering emails. It's just a very inefficient use of my time and my energy. Another pro tip that I can recommend is for you to increase your typing proficiency. This is a skill that I've always taken for granted because I've always practiced typing drills ever since I was like around five or six years old. Ever Ever since then, the muscle memory of typing just stuck and I got more proficient at it over time. And I didn't realize how valuable this skill was until I learned about other people who took so much effort and time in writing emails or writing scripts just because they didn't know how to type properly. I'm averaging anywhere between 115 and 135 words per minute these days. And I don't even have to think about the placements of my hands on the keyboards anymore. It's essentially like the keyboard has become an extension of who I am. And that means my mind doesn't have to use up energy in order to type properly because it really does take away from your energy just a little bit every time you have to consciously think about your typing mechanics. But if typing comes so easily and quickly to you, then it doesn't demand any of your energy and it frees up more of your time. The next tip I want to talk about is to avoid multitasking. Don't be one of those people who think that you're actually doing more by doing more things at the same time. Multitasking has been proven time and time again to be incredibly inefficient and ineffective. I've already done an in-depth video about the concept of deep work and how it's much better for you to focus on just one task at a time. So instead of focusing all of your energy on doing multiple tasks at once, focus instead on minimizing the time that it takes you to move from one task to the next. This is just to further reinforce the task batching tip. Don't check your email every time a notification pops up right when you're in the middle of writing an article. Focus instead on finishing up that article and then check check that email once it's actually time for you to start checking your emails within your time block or your schedule. And for the last tip, I want you to practice habit formation. The simple truth is this. 
the more that you do something, the easier it becomes over time. And the easier a task gets, the less effort, energy, and time it will require from you in the long run. That is why forming habits is such a powerful tool. For example, the simple act of reading every day can require a lot of focus and effort and energy on the part of someone who doesn't read consistently. But for someone like me who has a consistent habit of reading every morning when I wake up, it almost requires little to no effort for me to just pick up a book and start reading. And habit formation is something that you can apply to so many different things. Writing, exercising, practicing musical instruments, or just general skills development can all benefit from you forming good habits. So yeah, that just about does it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content that I've been producing so far. If you have, please do click that like button, subscribe to my channel. It will really help broadcast my message to a wider audience. And I'm always looking for ideas for new content, so please don't hesitate to comment down below what topics do you think I should tackle next? But yeah, it's been a pleasure having you around. I hope to see you guys around again soon.